would be T1. Next, we'll test for pain or pinprick. The method we'll recommend that you use for this involves taking a clean Q-tip or cotton swab and then very gently breaking them to create two sharp edges that are a little sharp, but not too sharp. <clears throat> and Mary, I'm just going to have you with your eyes open. Just okay. check and see what I've got here. Is that a little bit sharp? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same test, seeing if you can uh, see any difference between sharp at these various places. Okay. okay. So let me know if it feels the same or different. Same. Okay. Same. 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 Very good. Now sometimes when you find an area that has decreased sensation or it's a little bit confusing, you can go back and alternate sharp and dull. For this, your Q-tip that has the cotton swab end as well as the sharp end can work quite well. Mary, let me know if you feel sharp or dull when I touch you over here with your eyes closed. Good. And sometimes we always want to remember to also check um, on the palmar surface. Um, sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Very good. Next we'll check vibration sense. Again, this is not done normally unless there's an area that doesn't feel, doesn't seem to have a normal sensation. So we take our tuning fork and get it vibrating and then we check over a bony prominence. I think I'm going to start just right here at the thumb. Mary, do you feel the vibration? Yes. Good. And do you feel it here? Yes. And after doing um, a finger or a thumb, you can then extend up to other bony prominences, such as at the ulnar styloid, at the elbow, or over the top of the shoulder. Finally, we can do temperature sense. Uh, and temperature sense, can, we can also use our tuning fork, but this time, instead of getting it vibrating, we just use the cold metal end. Um, and if there's an area that seems to have decreased sensation, checking for temperature sense can be done this way. Mary, tell me if you feel hot or cold. Cold. Good. Hot. And that way you can uh, test the difference. Again, that's uh, temperature is not normally tested unless there's an abnormality. Finally, we're going to do joint position sense. Uh, this involves um, determining whether the patient can tell if you're moving their finger in one direction or another. I'm going to start with just the index finger and go over the distal phalanx, grabbing from the side. Mary, close your eyes if you would and let me know if I'm moving, if you can tell if I'm moving your finger up or down. Up. Down. 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 Very good. Each time you should bring yourself back to neutral before moving up or down. The next step would be testing some coordination. And the first coordination uh, that I'd like to check with using your upper extremities is a rapid alternating movement. Mary, for what I'd like you to do is to um, flip your hands around as fast as you can, just back and forth. And let's just do one at a time if we can. And just flip them around as fast as you can. Boom, boom. And so I'm watching for an incoordination or difficulty with this rapid alternating movement. That looks very normal. Why don't you stop on that side? And then maybe do the same thing on this side. And this helps to test for problems with coordination. Very good. <laughs> and the next would be um, a finger-to-finger -finger test. And so with, with this test, I'd like you to take your index finger. I'm going to have you put it on your nose. And then I'm going to have you touch my finger here and then back to your nose, and then to my finger, and back to your nose, and back to your nose, and we alternate. And we'll do the same thing with the other side if we can. Put your finger, right finger on your nose, and then out to my finger, and back to your nose, and over here. And as she extends her hand, we watch and see if she's able to bring it right to my finger in a coordinated fashion, 
versus having difficulty with tracking with that fine motor skill. Next, we'll move to tendon reflexes. The deep tendon reflexes will be tested using a reflex hammer. Uh, and so, Mary, the first one I'd like to test here is your bicep tendon. And the bicep tendon is right down in, here in the medial aspect uh, of the elbow. And so I'll put a thumb over the tendon, which I can feel just underneath the skin here, and I'll actually tap my thumb, feeling for a twitch. And the other thing we can do is, is uh, you can tap directly on the tendon itself. Um, sometimes I find by putting fingers over it, I can feel better. And Mary has actually a very light reflex on this side. And I'm going to check it on this side as well. And so that is the, um, the bicep tendon. Uh, the bicep is innervated by um, um, C5-6. The next would be the brachioradialis. And the brachioradialis is along the side here. And so that tendon is located uh, along the forearm. And so it can either be hit directly like this, um, or again, using a finger over where you feel the tendon is and actually tapping your finger. Mary has very light reflexes in this area. So if she's challenging and you don't get to see a nice jump on the camera. But sometimes what I'll do to feel those light reflexes is I'll put a hand down below, which allows me not only to watch for the twitch of the muscle, but also feel for the jump of the hand. And I do feel an ever so light <laughs> reflex on that side. Uh, we measure reflexes using uh, also a four-point scale, where zero would be no reflex at all. One would be a very diminished reflex, um, which is what I notice in Mary. Two would be normal. Three would be very brisk. And four would be hyperactive reflex with some clonus. The tricep is the last reflex we'll check. And that's located uh, along the back. And I'm not sure you'll see this well on the camera, but I'll tap back just above the elbow. Uh, along the back of the arm and tap in this area and hopefully we can see that better here on the left side as I come in and tap. A nice swinging motion of the reflex hammer and then gently striking that area and I can feel that not just the striking but ac the actual twitch going on by putting my hand down here. Um, another technique to check the tricep reflex involves holding the patient's arm up like this. Mary, I'm just going to hold your arm here if you just want to just relax. Okay. And then you can try to find where the tricep reflex or tendon is back here, just proximal to the elbow, and strike here. If you have trouble finding it, Mary, would you just straighten your arm up against mine here? Now I can feel the muscle. And then I can find out where the muscle ends here. And now let your arm just relax. And it helps you to be able to find right where that reflex is. 